goes like this that which of the following are examples of empty set the first is the first one is set of all even natural numbers divisible by 5 so we have certain numbers like uh, 10 20 so they are divisible by 5 5 is dividing them so this set is not empty it has uh, various values the second part is set of all even prime numbers even prime numbers so we have number 2 which is the only even prime number that exists in mathematics so it is also this set is also not empty it has 2 in it next is x is such that x square minus 2 equal to 0 and x is a rational question is x square minus equal to x square minus 2 equal to 0 and x is a rational this is a question so what is the answer see the question says x square minus 2 is equal to 0 that means x square is equal to 2 that is x equal to plus minus under root 2 but we know that plus minus under root 2 is an irrational number and this is an irrational number but the question is saying the set in the question is saving saying rational number so this set will be an empty set next one is uh, x is such that x is a natural number and x is less than 8 and simultaneously x is greater than 12 is it possible any number say 8 9 10 11 12 any number has to be below 8 and above 12 at the same time which is not possible so this will be an empty set next one is x is such that x is a point common to any two parallel lines you see two lines like uh, the railway tracks they would never meet they will just go like this they will never meet that means they will not have any kind of intersection point so this set will not be having anything so it's, it will be an empty set The second question is which of the following sets are finite and which are infinite first one is set of concentric circle in a plane so if this is a center this is a circle this is a circle this these are concentric circles and when these are concentric circle that means there are infinite number of concentric circles so there there is no finite one they are infinite you can just change the radius and this will go infinite so this set is infinite next one is set of letters of the english alphabet so we know that it starts from a goes up to z so these are 26 26 letters of english alphabet right so set of letters of the english alphabets they are finite you can count it third one the question is x belongs to n such that x is greater than 5 so when you say x is greater than 5 you start with 5 because it is a natural number then you go to 6 and then you have left this open ended that means it, it can go up to infinite in, infinity we don't have we, we, we can uh, we can't count it it's uncountable this is an infinite set the next one is finite how the question is x belongs to n and x is less than 200 the question is x is less than 200 so we start because it is a natural number we start with n, 1, 2 like this and goes up to 199. So this is a finite set. Next one is x belongs to z. z this z is integers. It identifies, indicates the integer and x is less than 5. So again when you start with 5, this is, has to be less than 5. So you, you say minus 4, minus 3, oh sorry, 5, 4, 3, 5 is not inclusive. 4, 3, 2, 1 then 0 minus 1 so now this side is open ended that means it can go up to infinite so this is again an infinite series or you can say this is an infinite set next is x belongs to r and x is between 0, 0 and 1 even if the question would be like this 0 and 0 0.1 then also the answer would be infinite why see 0 to 1 you can say 0 0.5 is in between somebody can say 0 0.11 is there Somebody say well, 0 0.11111 will be there. So there are infinite numbers that can be between real numbers and different type of numbers which are between 0 and 1. So this is an infinite set, infinite set.
नेक्स्ट वन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सेट्स आर इक्वल विच विच ऑफ दीज सेट्स आर इक्वल सो इक्वल सेट्स आर दो सेट्स विच हैव एग्जैक्टली सेम नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स एंड एग्जैक्टली सेम एलिमेंट्स मीन्स द नंबर द नंबर शुड बी सेम and they the counting should also be same that is how you know if the numbers are same that means the counting will be same so a is given 1 2 3 and the b is given as x minus 1 whole square so x minus 1 whole square means what it is it is x minus 1 into x minus 1 equal to 0 so x is 1 and 1 so the set will be only 1 right we don't repeat it so it is 1 the third one is 1 2 2 1 2 2 3 we Don't repeat it. So it will be one, two, three. So now, if you see this one, that is C one and A, they are equal. One, two, three, and they, it also contains one, two, three. When we take this one, x cube minus six x square plus eleven x minus six, and in this case, if you see that when we solve it, we can just factorize it like this: x minus one and x square minus five x plus six. Then it becomes x minus one, x minus two, x minus three, and this is equal to zero. So x will be equal to one. X will be equal to two. X will be equal to three. So this set is also one, two, three. So now we have one more set to be equal with A and C. It is D. So A, C, D, they are equal. Next is are the following sets equal? So we have first one as A as a reap. R E X is such that X is a letter in the word reap. So R E A P. Second one is B one is X is a letter in the word paper. So P A P E R. So we just uh, we just cancel one of them, okay? Which is re repeated. So I'll just cancel this one, and then we'll check it out. Next one is X is such that X is a letter in the word rope. So R O P E R O P E. So if you see here, we have R here. we have e here we have a here and p here so these two are exactly similar but if you compare this with any of these there is o which is not either in this one or this one not no o here so these two are exactly similar or you can say they are equal but this is not so we say a and b are equal but c is not equal to them next one is from the sets from this uh, from the sets given below pair the equivalent sets now the equivalent sets are those sets which have equal the counting the counting of the elements should be same for example a is 1 2 3 a is 1 2 3 and so counting is 1 2 3 three, three elements b is t p q r s so we have five five uh, the counting of the the elements in the set is five coming to c it is alpha beta and gamma so alpha beta gamma how many how many content we have three again d d is a e i o u so there are five five elements so b and d are equivalent and a and c are equivalent why because they have same number of elements next one is uh, are the following pairs of sets equal we have to give the reason so first one is a which is already given 2 3 the second one is b is x is such that x is a solution for x square plus 5x plus 6 so x square plus 5x plus 6 so 6 can be written as 2 into 3 so x square plus 2x plus 3x plus 6 You take x common x plus two. You take three common x plus two. So you get x plus three x plus two, and it is equal to zero. So x will be minus three, and x will be equal to minus two. From here minus three, we here minus two. So the set is minus two minus three. So this is they are not, they are not equal, but they are equivalent. They are not equal but equivalent. So the question is, they are equal or not? You have to say, but they are not equal. they are though equal equivalent the next is which is the second part of this question that x is a letter of word wolf w o l f and then we have uh, the b one this is the a b is x is such that x is a letter of the word follow so we have follow f o l l o why i am writing it here i am going to cancel one o i am going to cancel one l so it will be 
let me write F here. F, then O, then L, then W. So if you see, A and B are equal. So they are equal. Next one is uh, question 7. From the sets given below, select equal sets and equivalent sets. I'll just show you the set in the question what is given. A plus B, C, D, E, F, G and H. We have to find the equivalent and equal sets. So first is 0A. Second one is 1, 2, 3, 4. So let me, uh, let me just uh, write the number of elements here also. So it is 2. This is 4. This is 4, 8, 12, it is 3. And now coming to D. Now these are just the jumbled up form of B. That is, it is 1, 2, 3, 4. If I just rearrange it, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, four elements. So B and D, they are equal. And they are equivalent also. Coming to E, E is 1, 0. F, 8, 4, 12. Now I am rearranging this F, 8, 4, 12. I am rearranging it to 4, 8, 12. And when I rearrange, I find it that it is equal, it is equal to C. It is equal to C. So F and C, they are equal and equivalent also. Coming to G, 1, 5, 7, 11. So we don't have anyone, uh, you know, equal to them, but we'll just count the numbers also. So this is 3, this is 4. A, B also is not uh, equivalent to anyone, so it is 2. But uh, the thing is, that the counting is, this is two, these two, so these set, see, first B and D are equal, F and C are equal. We, this we have already dealt with. Now coming to the equivalency, this 2 and 2, that is A and H are equivalent. Now coming to 4, 4, 4, 4, that is B and D and G are equivalent. And then 3, 3, that is C and F are equivalent. Next question is, which of the following sets are equal? Which, of, which one of the following sets are equal? So the question here is like this. First is x is such that x, is, x belongs to natural number and x is less than 3. x is less than 3. So natural number starts from 1 and it is 3. So 1 and 2 will be there. So this is first set. Second set is 1 and 2. It is already given in the question. Third set is 3, 1. Then we have uh, the D1, D, the question is like this. X is such that X belongs to N, natural number, and X is odd, and X is less than 5. So now we have to find out odd numbers which are below 5 and which are natural numbers. So 1, 3, and no, 5 will not come because it is less than. So 1 and 3. Okay. Uh, 1 and 3, this one, this one. Then we E is already given 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 1. So I'll just. Uh, Delete the repeated one. So 1, 2 is there. So I'm writing it 1, 2. The next one is 1, 1, 3. So I'm, I'm just writing 1 for 1, 1. So 1, 3. Now, these 1, A, B and E, they are equal. Why? 1, 2, 1, 2 and 1, 2. Now, if I just, uh, you know, rearrange this, it will be 1, 3. So 1, 3, 1, 3 and 1, 3 will be equal. So we have C and D and F. C, D, and F, they are equal. A, B, E, and C, D, F. Next one is show that the set of letters needed to spell cataract and the set of letters needed to spell tract, they are equal. So tract is this one, T, R, A, C, T. I am writing cataract here, C, A, T, A, R, A, C, T. Now I am just taking, I am just uh, cutting out those which are repeated. So C, C, so I'm cutting this one out. A, 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 so I'm cutting these two out. And then T, T, this one out. So now I'm writing it here. So we have T, we have R, we have one A, we have one C, and of course we have uh, T, T more, one more T. So you can just write one more T because we just uh, eliminated one T. Because the question is, we have to show that set of letters needed to spell cataract and the letter, uh, letters needed to spell tract. So these letters are needed and both are exactly same. So they are equal. 